hello friends welcome back to my channel again uh, if you are watching this video for the first time thank you um, do not forget to subscribe my channel so that uh, any future videos that I will post that will uh, drop as a notification as soon as it get uploaded okay so we will jump on to the session for today we are going to understand uh, how the pre-filter policy works in uh, Cisco FTD uh, in general Cisco Firepower so there are different terminologies are there don't get confused we will take uh, in generic term called uh, Firepower and uh, we will uh, get deep into the concept of how it works and we will also see with one example uh, uh, or use case which I'm used for my uh, purposes okay friends we'll jump out of the session now okay uh, before we jump on to the uh, example or use case that I'm going to explain you on the console uh, we'll understand how the traffic flow works on the firepower side if you specifically uh, look on the FTD firewall FTD firewall is something that works with the two separate uh, uh, kernels one would be on the uh, uh, data plane side and one would be on the actual uh, management plane so for the data plane we would eventually have lina process and for the management plan it uses the ftd code so what is lina first uh, most of you heard this name as first time or uh, many times but uh, don't know what is lina lina is in a simple term linux in the asa that's it so that runs for the uh, data management plane actually so any any e ingress traffic if if an ingress traffic comes in uh, the before even the ingress traffic uh, further processed it will check um, the existing connection if if this is existing connection it will be bypassed to, to do all other uh, uh, functions and then it will be uh, uh, sent to the data acquisition I mean uh, from the memory standpoint if it is existing connection it will just update the flow and then uh, go for a next set of Lina process like LG checks and net NAT header and enforce uh, the QS information so this is the existing process uh, perspective and it will continue to uh, flow that traffic what if if this is a new connection so if this is a new connection it will check whether this is a VPN traffic or uh, it's a normal traffic based on that um, it will uh, decrypt the uh, data and it will uh, send to the pre-filter policy so the context uh, for this uh, video uh, mainly focused on the pre-filter policy okay please pay attention uh, to understand uh, a little bit uh, more over here on the pre-filter policy it will check before even it goes to the access policy you you in the realistic world before even it goes to the access list policy that user configured manually it checks for the pre-filter pre policy why pre-filter policy make sure that um, if uh, if a policy configured on the pre-filter it will never even check for the the rest of the configuration what is there on the uh, uh, in the next set of actions so it will directly um, matches with that pre-filter policy and it will send the traffic to fast path that is called a fast path fast path and then it will uh, uh, look for next set of lina processes what i have just explained it just before okay if if an um, if an uh, traffic which is not matched with the pre-filter policy what if uh, what will happen the traffic will look for uh, ACL policy based on the layer 3 and the layer 4 information and it will send to the next set of process the actual snort process I mean the IPS process within the IPS process it will look for uh, layer 3 uh, security intelligence the DNS based security intelligence will happen if uh, the security during the security intelligence uh, process if that domain dns name or ip belongs to non reputed ip then uh, it will drop the packet then and there itself if it has a good reputation then the packet will be sent to the next level to defrag the uh, defrag the policy and the application detection in um, processes once the this is done then it will also be checked the ssl decryption if you have 
configured the SSL decryption, it will uh, look for it as well. Don't forget, I will look on this SSL decryption separately in another video. But uh, for the sake of this video, just consider that it um, you don't have uh, SSL decryption configured. It will just pass the pass it to the next level. Then it will also perform the layer three, layer sorry, layer seven uh, security intelligence. Uh, which also performs the application level uh, detections if if an application which is not explicitly allowed then it will uh, uh, block that traffic uh, from there then and there and it will drop the ca connection and then if we have identity policy configured uh, based on the identity policy uh, the traffic will be continued uh, uh, saying that if you don't have ident identity policy then it will go for a next level uh, layer 7 uh, access control policy from there, QoS will be detected. Uh, sorry, QoS configuration will be detected um, or uh, checked. If you don't have a QoS, then it will also look for a network discovery. Um, if you have configured a network discovery, it will also check for uh, file policy and snort rules. So that's how uh, the snort processes will continue. After all of these snort processes uh, completes, the snort verdict will be determined whether to allow the traffic or uh, drop the traffic. In this case, if it is uh, allowed, then it will again go back to the data acquisition um, side for the memory to uh, send the, uh, sorry, update the flow as a uh, new, new connection for, for the Lina process. And then it will uh, look for a NAT header, enforce QAS again, VPN encryption. Um, then it will also look for a layer, layer three routing, layer two address. Uh, then it will send to the actual destination. So this is what will happen. So here pre-filter uh, plays a major role. Why? Uh, before even it processed by this not process. Consider if you have a pre-filter policy configured, rest of the snort process will not be uh, sensed or analyzed because pre-filter policy takes precedence of anything on the uh, firepower rest not processes or ips processes if we have any any specific traffic uh, con i mean traffic blocked at the pre-filter policy itself then the traffic will be determined accordingly right so this is how the pre-filter policy works and now let's go to the uh, use case which uh, i have applied in the configuration for my infrastructure okay we are on the fmc console once we are on the fmc console click on the policy and click on the pre-filter as you see here by default it will uh, we will have default uh, pre-filter policy and we can also create uh, as many number of pre-filter policy we want to apply for our infrastructure okay so here there is an uh, pre-filter policy called allow ICMP if I click edit you will see first rule says block I mean deny or block and then uh, second is for a trace route for action as fast path right so the purpose of first rule is actually for the VPN, I mean any connect VPN firewall aspect. So I have an uh, FTD firewall which is predominantly acting as a any connect firewall for which once what happens once user uh, establish the any connect VPN to the FTD firewall as soon as the session established when user wanted to uh, uh, do a ICMP ping to one of uh, the uh, machine or server which is available on the network by default the ping request will be default goes to the uh, the outside interface which is the public ip interface so in order to prevent that we have to create an explicit uh, um, i mean deny policy or block policy on the pre-filter side pre-filter policy side if not uh, without this policy by default the traffic will go to the default uh, I mean the default gateway only which is the default gateway of that firewall would be on the outside interface which has the public IP so what it says here the it's a pre-filter policy 
source as any so consider this is you are connected to vpn once you connected to vpn you will get assigned one vpn pool ip range on the pool ip range um, that is called the source ip uh, interface objects uh, and destination to any we can consider to ping up uh, the inside network or outside network but in this case source network we are calling that as a um, the actual uh, outside interface IP of that specific firewall. So destination as any, for source port as any, destination port as um, uh, the ICMP ports. We are call, calling it out here. We wanted to block it. We are not using any VLAN tagging or uh, uh, tunnel zone configuration. So by doing this, uh, the traffic will not default sent to the uh, uh, default gateway of a firewall the any connect firewall uh, so that uh, it will not uh, i mean dropped by the outside interface itself instead because of the pre filter policy it will not look for any further access control policy on the uh, snort processes uh, it will uh, let the traffic to uh, be handled by the uh, uh, lan interface for that that based on the lan interface uh, routing um, that you have configured on the network the traffic will be controlled accordingly so secondly the trace route the trace route is also as in a pre filter policy here irrespective of any source network we are sending that as a fast path so don't even look for uh, uh, i mean uh, any further uh, um, snort processes send it to the actual connection so that when you do a trace route the traffic will continued as a um, as a ping uh, sorry trace route uh, protocol then uh, it will uh, look for uh, the action to be continued to complete for uh, uh, for your trace route function so this is the simplest use case that i have used in my network for uh, uh, ftd vpn sorry ftd any connect vpn firewalls okay friends i hope uh, this video was useful for you if you have any questions please feel free to uh, comment um, and if you uh, wanted to uh, cover any specific topics, uh, please feel free to post it also. And don't forget to uh, like and share uh, my channel. We will catch up in the next video.